Okay, I feel like I look like I'm not wearing clothes. Like, I'm wearing a shirt. Anyway, this one's 24, and this one's like... Did anyone just see me hit myself in the fucking face? Like, did anyone else see that? Okay. It is so hot out today. My boobs are sweating so bad. Okay, anyway. This used to... Okay. Hey, guys. So, today I'm doing another mini makeup collection and today I am doing mascaras which is my favorite part of makeup personally mascara is literally my favorite 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 thing I love trying new mascaras I will never get sick of trying new mascaras and you're going to see that in this video because I have a lot a lot a lot of mascaras so a lot of these is going to be a huge part in this like decluttering portion of this series because a lot of these mascaras have just been in here and they're really really old so I'm going to be getting rid of them but I am still gonna like go through them in this video just so I can like tell you guys because yes they're old so I am getting rid of them but yes I tried them so it's like more mascaras I can kind of review for you guys so this is where I keep my mascaras this thing is actually from Target and I really like it because it has a little rubber my window's open, sorry. A little rubber thing on the bottom so they don't slide everywhere, but like, they kind of do because they're layered on top of each other. But I'm going to start off with really quickly, first go through the mascaras that I keep on my desk, which is like, where I do my makeup because these are the mascaras that I use on like a daily basis. So obviously they are my favorite, which are pretty much these ones. So, we'll just go through these quick. First is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This one is the waterproof version. It has little water droplets all over it. It's pretty much the cutest packaging ever, and I freaking love it. This is, like, the best mascara I have ever used in my life. Absolute number one. There is not a single mascara that I like more than this one. This is my literal number one all-time favorite. And the wand is just, like, a fat wand. It has long bristles, and I just freaking love this stuff. This is the only mascara that you could, like... I don't recommend this, but if you have ever slept with your mascara on and you wake up the next morning and try to put mascara on and it's just like, there's no saving your eyelashes. They just look terrible. This is the only mascara that literally makes your eyelashes look bomb. I don't know how it does it, but this stuff somehow, this is the only mascara I've ever used that like you can wear mascara to bed, wake up, and your eyelashes look disgusting, but you put this on and it can make them look like bomb again i don't know this mascara is crazy it's so freaking good um just mm. i will forever repurchase this mascara this is the one high-end mascara that is a hundred percent worth buying okay next we have these and they're similar but they're different like they have the same packaging because they're both from maybelline but they're actually really different so this is the lash sensational luscious full fan effect and this is a little bit more of a wet formula and this is what the wand looks like. This one is like the latest to greatest version of this mascara. So this is the original Lash Sensational and then this is the new one they created. And this was actually um, a favorite mascara of mine at some point in my life. So this one is really good as well. It's just this one is really old. It's dried up. So that's why I've been using this one. I do personally like this one better than this one just because this one is more of a wet formula and I'm a dry formula mascara girl I don't like wet mascaras I think they make my eyelashes like clumpier way easier so this is a good mascara it's in my everyday makeup drawer obviously it's good but I do actually prefer this one more it's just this one is dried out and I need a new one um okay then oh this Guys, I had to buy this mascara because it's like the new version of, let's see if I have one of them. I don't think I do anymore. Okay, the Maybelline Colossal, like, original OG mascara. It's yellow with purple packaging. This one's gold with purple. That was the first mascara I ever bought. Ever. I got in Glam Brown. I got a brown mascara because I was, like, literally 11 years old and... This is like, you know, kind of the new version of that. And I really, really like this wand, actually. It looks like this. And I really like this mascara because I can't explain why, but it's just, it's a good layering mascara. I like it on its own. It's just not dramatic enough for my taste on its own. But I do really, really like that mascara still. 
Okay, then we have these two minis, Benefit Roller Lash and Benefit They're Real. These are amazing mascaras. I had the They're Real full version before, but it dried out. I just kind of used it up. So this is the Roller Lash. That's what the wand looks like. This mascara is seriously awesome. And the packaging is freaking adorable. And then the They're Real. This one has a little spiky ball on the bottom, which is awesome because you can get into the like inner lashes. This is actually probably up there as one of my all-time favorite mascaras. Okay, then this one is a close, close, close second to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I seriously love this mascara. I repurchased it. This one is the old tube. I just grabbed it. But it's the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara and it has like splatter paint on the lid. It's so cute. Anyway, this is really dried out so the wand kind of looks shitty. But this mascara is freaking awesome. These two mascaras together, yeah, they're both high-end, so it's, like, expensive and annoying, but these two mascaras together, oh, girl, yes, yes, yes. Then I have this. Do you guys remember this? If you have been watching YouTube videos for, like, five years, probably, this used to be the shit, okay? This is the Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara, and it's because the wand is really freaking cool, to be honest. Like, look at the wand. Yeah, the wand looks freaking awesome, to be honest. But I don't know if I got a bad one or something because I bought this mascara really recently. Like, this is a new tube of it. My stopper, like, grabs too much product. Like, it's like when I go like this, there's not that much product on the wand. Like, I can completely see the purple bristles in it. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like the stopper grabs too much product and then there's, like, nothing left on the wand. It's weird. I don't know. So, personally, this really doesn't do much for me, but I feel like I got a bad one. I don't know. I don't know. So now, those are the mascaras that I love. So now I'm going to go through the rest of them kind of fast because I still have so many mascaras. Okay. Okay, this is the It Superhero, the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. Um, to be honest, eh, eh, nothing special. Then I have a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is the original version. It's pink. The waterproof one is the blue one, but... Same wand, awesome, love this mascara, 10 out of 10, recommend it to literally anyone and everyone. Okay, this, like, you can read this and try to pronounce this, because I don't know what the frick that says. It's like DJV Butanizer Fiberwig LX, I don't know. I got it in a Sephora Lash Dash, you know, like the holiday sets that have just, like, a bunch of their, like, all-time favorite mascaras. This was in there, and it was, like, a really wet formula, and I actually hated it, so, yeah. Okay, this is the Corez mascara. Do you guys remember when the Corez lip butters were, like, the ish? Okay, well, apparently Corez made a mascara. I got it in the lash dash. This is what the wand looks like. Hated it. Okay, um, then I have this one. Okay, and... I tried out this Essence Mascara and I hated it, but I actually did like this one. So, this is the Essence Lash Princess and I literally just bought it because it was called Princess. Anyway, it's the black and pink one and the packaging is so cute because this part is like 3D. It's like rubbery, you know what I mean? It's not just a design painted on it. It's like, I don't know, rubbery, really cool. It has like a corset lace up thing on the back. I love the packaging. It just doesn't really do anything for my lashes personally that's what the wand looks like I don't know it just really didn't do anything for me personally but this one I really like this is the plump no clump it's like teal and this looks like the cheaper version you know what I mean like when you look at these this one looks nicer than this one but this one I actually like this one <sighs> I hate that people are driving by but like guys it is so hot in my room and this is actually a wet formula, but I do really like this mascara. Like, I can just tell that it's a good mascara. So this is what the wand looks like, and I actually really like this. I think this one is really good for volume more than length, but I really do like this mascara. It's actually pretty good. For like 3 or $4, I would recommend it personally. Okay, then we have another Their Real Mini mascara. You already saw this, so this is obviously awesome. Another Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, okay. Then I have some minis of this Tarte-ish. I think this is all of them. Yeah. So I have two of the... What is this called? 
This is the Opening Act Lash Primer, and this is the Multiply Lash Primer. And then this is the Best Info, like, little fibers, and then the Lights Camera Lashes. So these were just minis that I got over time. I don't know why I have two of the primers. I couldn't tell you, to be honest. I think this one came in a lash dash. This one, the Multiply. And then the Opening Act and the Best Info Fibers, and this one, like, this came in a set. But this one just came, like, by itself in a lash dash. Um, this is good. This is okay. I don't really care about mascara primers. I don't use them. I don't think they're necessary, personally. Okay, Lights, Camera, Lashes. I love the packaging. It has, like, snakeskin, um, packaging. And then the wand is really nice. It has a really nice, like, fibery bristly if that makes sense to you I like this mascara but I don't think it's anything that like you need to go buy this and then fiber I hate this bleh. I hate like fibery stuff I don't know I don't like this personally but seriously like I don't think you need to do all this fiber and lash primer stuff all you need to do is buy these two and everyone is gonna like seriously Lash paint, Tardis lash paint, or whatever the hell this is called, and then the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Everyone's gonna comment on your videos <laughs> if you make videos. No, everyone's gonna come up to you like, oh my god, you wear fake eyelashes? Like, everyone comments on mine, like, her eyelashes are fake, but like, I've never worn fake eyelashes a day in my life. Not to throw shade, but, <laughs> bitch, sorry, and no. Anyway, then, those are pretty much, I think, all of the little minis. No, I have a couple more. I want to get through all these little minis that came in that... Sephora Lash Dash. Because these are really old, so I kind of do want to get through these. Um, Okay. This is all of them. This is a Sephora Outrageous Volume Whatever. Look at this packaging, you guys. Hold on. Okay, the wand, I'm not going to lie, is really cool. But, like, that's it. There's no stopper. There is no unscrewing it. It's literally... Like, what in the hell, Sephora? I don't know what they were thinking, but this mascara is just a no because of that. This is the Buxom Lash. Oh my god, this mascara is literally so good. I freaking love this mascara. This is what the wand looks like. Cool, cool, cool. I bought the full size, so I'm going to show you the full size one because this one is a little bit older. You can kind of see the B on it. That's it. So this is the full size one. It's just the Buxom Lash. I don't know, like the full if there's a full fancy name for it but oh my god I love this mascara this mascara is literally so good it's really good for volume and length like it's one of those mascaras that actually gives you both in one you don't have to layer this with other mascaras it's just so good on its own I love this mascara Ugh. I'm actually really glad I filmed this video today because I just rediscovered that okay then we have this Clinique High Impact. This is just like an eh. eh. Um, Benefit Bad Gal Lash. You either love or hate this mascara. I personally love this mascara. I bought the full size. But you either love or hate this mascara, to be honest. So This is what the wand looks like. It's just a fat wand. I don't really know what else to say, but this is what it looks like. And again, you either love or hate this stuff. I love it. But I love it as a layering mascara. It doesn't do enough for me personally to wear it on its own, but I do still like the mascara. You either love or hate it, and I don't hate it, basically. Um, this is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Volumizing Mascara. I did not like this. I just thought it was eh. I would never, like... Considering it's Stila, I know it's not $7, like the drugstore, so I would never buy it, because it was just like, eh. Eh. Okay. Then we have, oh, last one. This is a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and I like this because I bought the full size. Just to, like, okay. But I'm pretty sure that this came in the Lash Dash. I'm almost positive. But anyway, it just has a fat wand. I like this, but again, I like it as a layering mascara. It doesn't do enough for me on its own. But also, take that with a grain of salt because I like crazy long like my eyelashes look way too natural for me today like they look so natural i do not like this i like really dramatic eyelashes so when i say that i don't like it by itself i like it to layer you might think that it's good enough on its own i just like crazy ass looking eyelashes but 
This is a good mascara. I just personally like to wear it with others, but you could wear it on its own. It's a good mascara is what I'm saying. Okay, then these suck. Okay, so basically Revlon came out with, I don't know what this like line is called, but this is the packaging and it just has a bunch of different colored lids. So there's like a red one, a blue one, a green one, and maybe a couple others, but this is the ultimate all-in-one that's what this one's called. I don't I don't know what the hell like these are called, but anyway. I bought this one because look at the wand. Look at the wand. It's like this tiny, 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 tiny little ball. And I thought this was gonna be really cool for the bottom eyelashes, but it is such a Ew, it's such a wet formula, I don't like it. So this was a no. Okay, then we have the Maybelline Grey Lash. Lots of lashes. This is the cutest little thing ever. I really like this mascara, personally. I think this mascara is actually really good. Not gonna lie. Almost dropped it. Okay, then we have these. This was my absolute favorite mascara in the world, so I bought, like, every single version that they came out with. So, the original was the Lash Out Butterfly. Then this is the Lash Out Butterfly Waterproof. And this is the Voluminous Butterfly Intenza. This is supposed to be like the intense version of it. But basically, this is a really, really, really good mascara. I'll just show you like how these wands compare. This is the original one. This is seriously a really good mascara. Like, not lying. I'm glad I just rediscovered this. I need to buy a new tube of this. This is the waterproof one, which pretty much has the same wand. And then this is the Voluminous Butterfly Intenza. This is the newest one that I have purchased, but they probably came out with like five more of them. But I really, really like this mascara. This is a really, really, really good drugstore one to buy. I don't remember like if this one was a lot better than the regular one, but this is the Intenza one. It has red lid and then the regular ones just like this but I do remember that I loved loved love this mascara this is probably my fourth or fifth tube of it like I did repurchase this many times so 10 out of 10 recommend then we have this Smashbox x-rated girl don't buy this like this was just a no sorry Smashbox but no so it's really cool because you know the packaging's all twisty so it's awesome so everyone bought it but, like, just, is it, no, just no, it's not worth the money. Sorry. Long story short, it's just, like, if you're going to spend this much money on a mascara, buy the Too Faced Better Than Sex, okay? Like, seriously, this is just, like, amazing, and this is just, like, nowhere near for the same price. Like, it's just, like, no. Okay. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and I don't even want to know how long this has been in my makeup collection, so we're not going to talk about it. This was a good mascara. Really black, really good, really good for volume. Good mascara. It's just, like, way too old. Okay, then I have... Guys, this is the worst mascara I've ever used in my life. Ugh, and it's new. It's the freaking CoverGirl Super Sizer. And I bought this one because it was like a cool limited edition packaging Star Wars one. Like, I don't, I don't even like Star Wars, but I just thought it was cool. So it says, Cover Girl, Star Wars, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, The Super Sizer, if you can see that right there. Super Sizer, that's what this mascara is. Guys, this is the wand. It's super, super, super tiny. And this mascara literally does nothing. I mean literally nothing. You might as well not even wear mascara. If you're going to take the time to put this on, don't even put on mascara because it literally does nothing at all for your eyelashes. Like, this pissed me off so bad because it's like, I understand mascara is being bad, but like, girl, drugstore like has stepped up their game recently. I don't understand how a company could make a mascara this bad and think that it's good enough to like, sell. Like, what the fuck? This thing is so terrible. <sighs> okay. Last three, if you count this, this is a Maybelline Grey Lash, it's like the clear one, but everybody uses this for their brows. 10 out of 10, you really can't mess this up. Okay, so, Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, this mascara is 
This was the bomb.com when it came out. This is what the wand looks like. It's fat and it has short, tiny little bristles. I really did like this mascara, though I haven't used it in a while, but I do remember that this was a really good mascara. So, I do recommend it because I remember really liking it. And we have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This mascara was freaking awesome, too. I remember really liking this one as well. That's what the wand looks like. Really good. Really good. Really recommend. And then this last one. I freaking, freaking, freaking love this stuff. So this is the Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Drama. This is the waterproof one, actually. I didn't even know that. But look how cool the packaging is. This part is red. And this part's pink. And it's just like the coolest looking packaging ever. I don't know why. And then the wand is bomb. Like, look at that wand. Oh my god. Come on. This mascara is really good. Really good, I promise. And it's like $8, so... This is a really good mascara. 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay, so, those are all my mascaras. Hope you guys enjoyed. I got some good new recommendations from the drugstore and high-end everything. And I just hope that you learned something from this video. And as I say in all my videos, I'm not this pale, I swear. Like, guys, I put on bronzer today to try not to look pale, and I still look like a freaking ghost. Anyway... I apologize this video was so freaking long, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. All my videos are long. You guys know I really have this, like, problem where I start talking to you guys and then I just can't stop. So, sorry it was really long, but I hope you enjoyed. I kind of did have a lot of mascaras to go through, not gonna lie. And my cat went out. And there goes my camera. It's dying, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. Sorry for, I know I just did a mini makeup collection like two videos ago, but I hope you don't mind. Leave requests down below, and I love you all so, so, so much. Bye.